it. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. Ah, oh, you jerk. From the get-go. <laughs> Alright, so... What is up, guys? This is MineAddict0110 back again, and today we are with a good friend Exanon. This is episode two Sup. of our, or episode, you know, whatever, of our series together, and it's just the two of us playing some QuakeCraft, chatting about recent Minecraft news topics, and it's it's pretty interesting. Yeah, it is. It re it really is interesting. <laughs> it is. It it is, yeah. and I I can't remember the last time I played on this map, but it's like I, if I do remember correctly, yeah. this map is I very. I think small. I may have Teamspeak open. You and might yes, I do have TeamSpeak open. So are we going to get some <laughs> some some visitors here? Yeah. Well, you'll hear them at least. <laughs> you'll you'll right. hear them a little bit. All right. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, yeah. Ah, oh, you jerk. From the get-go. <laughs> All right. So what we wanted to talk about today is the name changes that will be coming yes. to Minecraft after the 1.8 update once they add everything in the 1.8 update and once they update their web, web sites servers. and servers. Yeah. Um... So I've been seeing a lot of people saying things like, oh, cool, you know, name changes everything, but what's going to stop people from getting banned from a server then coming back with a different name and playing on it again? Uh, well, I can explain that. Uh, so ever since I think it was 1.6, yep. uh, something... Uh, we just spawned on each other. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you got so me funny. back for that. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, so ever since 1.6, something was added to every player. Everybody has one of these. It's called a UUID. Uh, I can't remember what that stands for. Actually, if you go into a server, uh, sometimes you can get a little bit of a glitch where if you hover over somebody's name, you can actually see their UUID number. Yes, uh, and and every time somebody uh, joins... Did we just kill each other? I don't know. I don't know. Um, yeah, and every, time, and every time somebody joins a server, if you look in the console, you can see their UUID. Now, Basically, everybody else, everybody has their own um, unique UUID and everything. And I forget, as I said, I forget what it stands for. But you can go ahead and just look up UUID on Wikipedia, and it will come up. And um, Wikipedia. Yeah. And and uh, yeah. So everybody has one of these. And what this is, it's kind of like your number. Like you have a special number, and this UUID is your special number. And when you get banned from a server, once 1.8 and name changes come along, your username will no longer be banned from the server, but your UUID will be banned so from the server. if we want to put it into context, it's kind of like a safer version of the Steam ID, where you can change your name. But you can't change your username. Yeah. Yes, kind of like that. Like, you can, you, can change your, you can change your actual name that people will see you by, but then you can't change the username you log in with. Yeah. You won't be able to change that. And so that will that is what is stopping people from um, uh, getting banned from servers, then going back on and trolling or griefing or hacking or whatever people do. And um, also, a lot of people are saying, well, oh, well, what about these uh, big YouTubers and everything? People are going to impersonate them. No, they will not, because you cannot have more than one of the same person. Like, for example, my username is Ixanon. There can't be another Ixanon. Uh, what like lobby that. are we going to join? Uh, let's one? Yeah, one. Let's yep. do one. Uh, we'll actually get right back to you guys. Uh, continuing on this topic, uh, we'll just join a game real quick. We'll cut out the midsection. Oh, I'm not, I'm not gonna cut it out. I don't do that. Oh, okay, I, well I I'll just I'll let's just leave do it dig in. site. Yeah, have a dig site here. Three, uh, two. Dig site. Yep. Quick. All right. We in? Yep. All right. Okay. And so with these UUIDs, it's going to stop probably all of the problems that you can think <laughs> of. These developers, they know what they're doing. Pretty smart they, guys over there. Yeah, they would not let all these impersonations and uh, troller, griefer, hacker people. They will not, and I don't think yeah. it. I, I just, I just don't think that they would even consider allowing that to happen. And um, another thing about the name changes, people are wondering, like, uh, like you know, how much is it going to cost in anything, and like, how many times will we be able to change it? Pretty much nothing is known about that except yeah. for you will only be able to take the names of non-premium accounts. So that means back when Minecraft was in alpha and everything, all those people that were uh, making accounts and then never touching them again, all of their usernames uh, will be available as long as they did not buy the game. Yeah, the only issue I have with this is that I have a lot of old friends that I haven't talked to in a very long time, but every now and then see on a server... It's just going to be confusing log on, logging onto a server and 
seeing all these new usernames and not knowing who everyone is. Um, yeah. I'm actually kind of hoping that they have a pay system to where you have to pay to change your name, and that's just to limit the amount of griefers and people like that. And and I don't know if you really want to change your name. I'm sure you can like pitch in like five bucks, but yeah. And yeah. and uh, something I was wondering about it too, which I don't see how the uh, UUID could affect this. Um, I and this is one of the reasons why I really hope you'll have to pay to change your name. Uh, you, I run a server and. Uh, you know, on every server, grief is usually a problem. And what I was wondering is if somebody goes and griefs with one name, okay, and then go and changes their name, will 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 the, will plugin developers be able to use the UUID API to uh, to basically ch have it change their name whenever they change yeah. their names, like? The thing I'm wondering is, is will will Mojang give plugin developers uh, access to the API? Yeah, I, I would assume so. I would assume so, but I mean, still. Because I mean, if if they didn't, well, they'd uh, have to set up their own. Yeah, and there's going to be a lot of problems, like with what I just said. You know, um, people going in and uh, having one name, griefing with it, then changing it. Uh, would would it still show up as the one name? Like, how will this work? It's going to be it's going to be um. Uh, Quite the update uh, for Quite server administrators. Everything yeah. it's going to be um, pretty. It's going to be pretty difficult for those kinds of people, I would think, uh, because you have to update so many different files and everything. So it's going to be tedious, but uh, I'm sure everybody will get through it. Especially these big servers like the uh, Hypixel server that have lots of uh, staff, even paid yeah. staff, and everything. Um, but I, for the smaller ones, it might be a bit more difficult. I think that with a lot of these larger servers, they're going to have to go into overtime, and a lot of these larger servers will be down for a little while while they're setting up ranks. <clears throat> uh, yeah, um, I actually saw Dinnerbone talking to uh, Monsieur Apple from OCTC. I think that's how you say his name. Uh, Monsieur Apple or something Monsieur of sorts. Monsieur Apple. Monsieur Apple. Mm, and, um, ha -ha. and he was talking about how he's going to have to update all these files, and Dinnerbone actually said you've had months to get ready. And so I'm thinking uh, that, like, these, uh, you know, higher up servers and everything have already have... been given, like, and told what they're supposed to do or something, or yeah. I'm just stupid and not figuring this out on my own. <laughs> I assume the same thing. I'm thinking that uh, Mojang is probably very biased with a lot of these bigger servers. Uh, now, I I'm not saying bias is a bad thing, but still biased towards them releasing information early for them to set up their things early and now I the public I wouldn't exactly call that biased because the thing is you gotta you gotta remember that these servers are like the most played minecraft multiplayer yeah, servers. That's a lot of the minecraft multiplayer activity comes from these servers and everything so uh, and you know that's like it's like a uh, mojang helping out uh, youtubers and everything they've always been about like you know, yeah. helping people and everything. So, I mean, I wouldn't. I don't. I myself would not call it biased. But if you, if you want to, you know, yeah, I, I can see what you mean by that. I mean, I mean, bias. It's always seen as a bad word, but I don't always see it that way. But I think this game is is over. Uh, yes. and that is basically yep, it. <laughs> yeah, and that that is that's that is, pretty much it. That's the episode for you. But anyways, I thank you guys for watching, and remember, stay tuned. Uh, uh, we do some pretty cool stuff over here. Yeah. Chat about some pretty cool recent events. Yeah, we uh, do. We yeah. shoot rockets at each other as well. So <laughs> Indeed. don't miss out on that. See you guys next time. All right, see you guys.